Hey guys, just a quick review today on the Maxpedition uh, Kiss Jumbo variant Versa Pack. I took it on a trip last night and I was using it today and uh, haven't had a, much of a chance to use this bag as I'd like to, but I'm going to be doing a, a review on it today because it's it's basically the same as a Jumbo Versa Pack. There's just a couple of differences that I'll go over with you and um, I'll talk to you about what the bag is really about and that. So, first I'll tell you what I towed it with me last night. <clears throat> Did spend the night at the girlfriend's place again, so I uh, just brought a few key things I thought might come in handy. Um, you know, on the inside I just threw a couple of like lighters and headphones in there and stuff. Yeah, and there you go, there's the headphones in there, so. Now onto the inside, I just brought like a notebook in case. Um, on this inside spot, uh, uh, inside pocket, I brought just the toiletry bag, uh, my Maxpedition mini pocket organizer with just like a few essential items I thought I might need, like a little flashlight, the Gerber Dime micro multi tool, a couple of spider codes and, and stuff like that. And then of course I had my Maxpedition barnacle with my Tylenol in it and that. Some polysporin and that, some band-aids, just in case I got one of my classic terrible headaches. So, <clears throat> a couple of more things I brought in the, in the front pouch here. I got, you know, just some simple stuff, a little screwdriver, some lock de-icer. <coughs> it's winter time, so a little pen flashlight there and... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, got my Voyager with me, obviously. Uh, nice pen. C Columbia River Eaton tool. And a Leatherman Sidekick Multi-Tool. There you go. Um, yeah, so uh, I also had some water with me. Uh, I put it in the water holder there. In the back, I just had, you know, some wet wipes and that. Okay, so now this is a jumbo variant. Okay, so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna compare this to a regular jumbo versa pack. Okay. Um, so the first thing you'll notice on these two bags here, the differences, is that on the jumbo, the original, you have a larger buckle on the opening. Okay, compared to the kiss. Um, also, another thing about the buckles is that on the strap, you have a larger buckle than you would on the Maxpedition KISS Jumbo variant, okay? The straps themselves, the, the KISS strap is a lot uh, thinner than it is on the Jumbo, okay? This is a thicker, wider strap. Um, the top pocket has been removed on the KISS, as you can see, it's bare. The other pocket that's been removed is the side slit that usually goes in to the, the jumbo, as you can see where these pens are holed up, okay? That's been removed as well. Another difference you'll notice is that this pocket on the side, the jumbo has double zips, okay? And the pocket on the kiss has the one, okay? And one more difference, I think it's one more, a uh, couple more actually. Um, there's there's molly fields up up on here where these patches are, and you'll see that there's no molly there. Um, or sorry, loop fields. I mean, not to say molly uh, loop fields is what I meant. And um, the loop field is actually put over here. Um, and the drink holder, or sorry, the the bottle holder, uh, doesn't have the little uh, flap thing here to hold the drink in place. Um, I think I went over this, but when you open it up, this jumbo has the rain fly, and the kiss does not have the rain fly. Okay, so I think that's all the differences about this bag. Um, also, the zippers on the on the original are are more heavy duty than they are on the on the kiss, except for the back one is still uh, kind of the same. Um, these ones don't come with paracord poles, except for the back one. But um, now, when when I say like it it doesn't come with this heavy duty or that this and that, it doesn't mean at all that this is a, a lower quality or anything like that. It is still fantastic. The the pack itself is 
really well made by Maxpedition. It's still that 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 nylon that they're good for and that double stitching and stress points and and all that good stuff. Okay? But the nylon itself is 800 uh denier ballistic in, uh, opposed to the original being 1050. Okay, so this is a more dense, thicker nylon than this bag. But I found that using it past couple of days this bag is noticeably lighter than the jumbo uh, original uh, and it's a it's a big uh, noticeable feature actually this being 25% lighter on the website apparently and it's definitely noticeable I enjoyed toting this around uh, I it felt nice it felt very comfortable I fit everything that I would be able to fit in the jumbo into this it's the same size basically um, the only thing it lacked was that pocket but I, I figured it out so um, honestly it's it's a great bag great for urban city environments and stuff like that um, the dimensions on it I believe were 13 inches long 11 inches high times 5.5 inches thick and um, you'll notice that in this, compared to the Jumbo as well, it doesn't have the divider features that the Jumbo would in here or in this front pocket. But I would say this is a great work bag. Um, you know, as long as you're not taking it into extremely wet areas, because it is a bit lighter on the nylon and it doesn't have the rain fly, but it, it's still a, a very functional bag and I, I actually like it. I think better than the the jumbo just because it's so much lighter it sits more comfortably on you the strap feels a lot better I think and it's still got that nice padding that the jumbo has you also still get the waist strap uh, that the jumbo has as well um, and of course you can always just tote it around with the handle that's that's been put here um, it does come in three colors the black um, this is the khaki green which I thought was the most unique color they had in this bag and then the khaki foliage um, but the great thing about it is that it's not going to break the bank either. It's only about $70 from their website, opposed to the Jumbo original being 100 So you're basically getting the Jumbo, which is a little bit lighter, and you're spending a lot less. So I, I think it's a great value for money, and it's, an, it's another great product from Maxpedition. I really enjoy this bag. I think it serves the purpose as, uh, of a lightweight, everyday bag, honestly, perfectly. Um, it contours nice to the body, it's um, a very lightweight bag, has plenty of uh, uh, organizational pockets and um, the bag zippers run smoothly, the buckles clip nicely and they're low noise. Uh, everything about the bag is awesome. So I would suggest to anybody to check this bag out at Maxpedition.com, the Maxpedition Kiss. Obviously the Kiss meaning keep it simple stupid which is exactly what they've done with this bag. So, guys, I'm going to end the review, and I would say the Maxpedition Kiss is an awesome value for money. Check it out at maxpedition.com, and, um, you know, they'll have all the specs in that and everything. And uh, quickly, if you're wondering if a water bottle could fit into this bag, into the side, this is a 32 ounce. Just thought I'd show you that real quick. And yes, it can. So... Again, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, uh, like, dislike, whatever. Tell me if I left anything out. And, um, you know, if you're into Maxpedition, you don't have a lot of money, but you would like to have something very high quality from them without breaking your bank, um, this is a great choice, the Maxpedition Kiss. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun carrying this around day to day, and uh, it'll really grow on you, because it grew on me, and uh, I've been using the Jumbo for a while, and I honestly i am starting to think this is a lot better. I wish it did have the Rainfly, which is a good feature that the Jumbo has, but honestly, this bag is so lightweight, it's it's honestly killing it. Really, it's uh, it's fantastic. So guys, again, thanks for watching. The Maxpedition Jumbo Kiss. Take care, I'll see you next time.